Hi, Miranda Simnick here. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about feelings and emotions. So if you were young and you were never taught to identify your feelings or your emotions, obviously that's going to be hard for you to do as an adult. So one thing that's important is to start doing is start saying, how am I feeling right now? Am I mad? Am I sad? Am I scared? Am I happy? And it's about learning how your body responds to those feelings and what your thoughts are doing when you're in a certain type of feeling. So I'm going to have you take a screenshot of a little feelings worksheet I have in a second here. So if you don't know how to take a screenshot, pause this video and look up how to take a screenshot. Okay. So you can go ahead and pause this video when I put this up. I'm going to put it up for about five, maybe even 10 seconds. Take a screenshot and we're going to use it for you to identify your feelings and work through them and identify your needs a little better. Let's see here. Okay, that should be good. Go ahead and screenshot. Okay. And when you screenshot it, you're going to like clip it because it actually should be this way, but that doesn't really fit on the screen. And I don't want you to have a screenshot of my lovely arms and hands. So this actually puts different feelings and emotions in color and it has anger, um, is in red and anger is because often we don't feel safe. There's always, 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 always something underneath anger. It is not that you are angry. It is that you are scared. You are offended. You feel controlled. You feel frustrated. You're irritated, re resent. Like there's just always a feeling under there. Um, so it's just about recognizing this is how my body feels when I'm angry, but maybe I'm not really angry. Maybe I'm really sad underneath. Um, sadness is more like a purple color, depressed, hopeless, humiliated, alone, um, bored, guilty, shame. Shame is a huge one. And a lot of people don't always recognize shame. So just make sure you're aware of that. Uh, safe, safe is blue. That's more of like your throat chakra, being able to speak your truth. Trust, relax, secure, understood, confident. So it's about learning to recognize when you feel safe, right? Who you're with, what you're doing, um, free, um, loved, appreciated, worthwhile, complete, sincere, important. That's uh, more of like our heart. That's in like a green area. Um, happy, joyful, excited, thrilled, content, alive, hopeful, grateful, lighthearted. You know, this is just when you're able to be you. You're able to be your real self and everything's good. Uh, scared, okay, confused, paralyzed, overwhelmed, threatened, rejected, helpless, shocked, numb, embarrassed, foolish right? There are so many feelings and it is so important that we start saying to ourselves, Hmm, how am I feeling right now? What is going on in my body? What if thoughts are going on in my head? Because how we feel drives what we do, right? Our feelings affect our behaviors. So if we feel a certain way, we're going to make decisions based on our feelings, drives our choices, drives where we go, how we spend our time, who we spend our time with. Feelings are so important. And a lot of times they weren't validated when we were children. And that, you know, we don't want to blame our parents because they have their own traumas that were from their parents that were passed down from childhood to the next childhood to you. And, and we'll talk about that in another video because that's probably about 20 to 30 videos long. So I just want you guys to practice saying, I feel happy. I feel lonely. I feel scared. And just start putting a word, a feeling to what's going on in your body, because that's also going to make it a little less scary. But also when we feel good, we also learn, oh, this is what happy feels like. What can I do to get my body to feel this way? Okay. All right, guys, go and explore your feelings.